Good morning, guys. I feel I'm having to hold. I'm having to hold him because he's annoying Pip. Um, good morning, guys. How are you all? I hope you're all doing really well. I'm so happy to be back vlogging this week. Whenever I do like a fashion haul or something, I miss vlogging and I miss talking to you guys so much. Opal, I can't put you down because you're going to irritate Pip. So you're staying up here until you calm down. Okay, okay. Ugh. He likes to do this, but there you go. Can you hear this? Can you hear that? It's so cute, it means he's happy. Today is a bit of a chaotic day. I'm at home, I'm not going out. I've just got quite a lot to shoot. I've got like things to organize, um, lots of admin to do, also getting my nails done, um, which is good. But also like it's bang in the middle of the day, which is really inconvenient. I've also got a meeting and that's just gonna be quite a cozy vlog, um, taking you guys along with me this week. So I hope you enjoy. Okay, well, have you calmed down now? Do you wanna go talk to Pip? Yes, crumpets are currently my favourite thing for breakfast. I used to think they were really bad for you, but they're actually, they're actually not that bad. And they make me so happy every morning. The key to a good crumpet is when it's really hard at the top and the bottom. And then put a lot of butter on. This is where it gets unhealthy to be fair. So I do put a fair bit of butter on and strawberry jam. And you gotta make sure all the holes have butter, you don't want any dry bits. Now this, this is perfection. Could have actually been a bit more crunchy, it's quite soft. Say hello to the vlog, Opal. What naughty things have you done this morning? You actually haven't been very naughty this morning. No, little squishy face. What's that on my nail? Probably some crumpet. Take it off. Go on, take it off. Please ignore the mess in the background, but here's my outfit for just working from home today. I'm actually about to change because I'm gonna film a TikTok, but I've got this top on, which is an old one from Nasty Girl, Bershka trousers, a mez belt, and it's just a really comfortable but chic working from home look. I'm doing this 30 days of outfits challenge thing on TikTok, and it's so hard because obviously most days, like, I'm at home, I actually don't go out. So trying to think of like proper out, out outfits every day that aren't repetitive is really difficult, especially because my nature of styling is quite repetitive. Um, so yeah, every day I just look in my wardrobe and try and pick some things out that I think could work. I'm thinking white shirts are always good in autumn. Filming and shooting, done for the day. I shot a decenio campaign um, just on my iPhone and then a TikTok. It wasn't even a campaign, it was just my daily TikTok. Um, I'm actually really struggling to keep up with all of the different platforms at the moment. I'm doing TikTok, YouTube and Instagram. Like I'm trying to post on Instagram most days. I'm trying to keep up with my stories. I'm trying to do my YouTube once a week um, and then TikTok every single day. It's it's a lot of work. Just as a disclaimer, I know I don't need to say this, but you guys obviously know that I love my job. And um, I also don't think it's like a really, really hard or difficult job. There are a lot more difficult jobs out there. And also all of this work is self-imposed. Like no one tells me to do this stuff. Like I have full reign over what I do, but I'm the kind of person where I just always want to do the most. And I always want to do it to the best of my capabilities. But in all honesty, I sometimes feel like it's easier to commit to like one or two platforms and do those really well. Whereas right now I feel like I'm doing all three and kind of like spreading myself thin. Even things like replying to DMs, replying to comments, I always really like to keep on top of those. But right now, I don't know, there's just not enough hours in the day. And then I get annoyed at myself and I'm like, oh, I'm falling behind. When in actual fact, it's just because I'm putting out so much more content than I normally would. So there's more response. And I just wanted to say as well, guys, like if you ever message me or comment, please know I'm never ever ignoring you. Like I really try and get back to everyone I can. And reading your messages, reading your comments, honestly means the world to me. It makes me so happy. It makes me emotional thinking about it because I just have massive imposter syndrome sometimes. I don't know, I just honestly feel so grateful for you guys. And yeah, this was a massive tangent. I don't really know where it was going. What else have we got to catch up on? So, Another thing, I mentioned it on my Instagram already, I was supposed to get the keys this Friday to my new apartment. That's not happening anymore. I, uh, I just, I have no words anymore. Like, I just don't know why they told me you're definitely getting the keys on Friday. Um, for them to tell me, oh, we didn't like kind of read the um, sign of certificates properly, blah, blah, blah. So I actually sent, this is quite unlike me, 
I sent a strongly worded email the other the other week and I just basically said how I was really disappointed in how um they've handled the whole situation how I felt like really how I felt like there's a lack of communication and I hate complaining because I often think as well like the person I might be complaining to it's probably not their fault and it's probably somebody like way 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 higher up and whatever but at the same time sometimes you have to say things otherwise things don't happen and so we'll see we'll see what they say back to that so we're kind of in the same situation as we were a few months ago where I'm like our lease here ends um in about three weeks time roughly the move-in date might be in three weeks time I'm really hoping it's before then but if not are we gonna have to renew the lease oh my god it's just I've all up in the air again when I finally thought it was settled nope it's not so we'll see I'll keep you guys updated but please send me positive thoughts and manifest this move as soon as possible on a more positive note I've got two really exciting unboxings that I want to do on camera first one it looks like a Dior bag however it's not it's from the Napco they've just delivered this to my door it really does look like Dior though they've even got the star like how gorgeous is this packaging um Napco pajamas are the best they just feel so luxury so premium i'm making a bright racket here one minute and i feel like pajamas are one of those little self-care things that don't necessarily seem like self-care but they are so i had no idea they're sending me these so what even are they okay so they, we've got a cream set i think this is just like their long oh my god they just they feel so soft yeah this is their long sleeved cream set i've got this in white and like loads of other colors but not cream and then you have matching bottoms which are also long and then we have this which looks like a new pattern and do you know what i feel like this might be a dress oh yes it's a dress it's like a kind of sleeping dress i don't know if i'd sleep in this however i think like just for like getting ready in the mornings or just like for around the house this is so lovely. Oh, I'm very excited about that. My next unboxing is a little Louis Vuitton order I did. This has a bit of a backstory to it. So I had a Chanel card holder that I absolutely adored. And it actually got stolen um, over like well over a year ago. And I was so upset about it being stolen that I didn't buy a new card holder. I just kind of let my cards run free i would always lose them i always forget them and i thought you know what it's about time i got a new card holder i was gonna get the same chanel one but then i saw this one and this one is different because let me unbox it i love it so much so it's this little black leather monogram it's kind of got the monogram print embossed card holder but it's got this little keychain here so my idea is i'm going to attach it to my keys i've also bought an air tag which is i think i put it in here yeah i did i also bought an air tag so my thinking is i have all my cards in here i have my keys here put my air tag in here i'm never going to lose it unless it gets stolen obviously but and that's something you can't help and then yeah that way i always have all of my items together when I, when I need to leave the house and i don't know why but that just brings me so much satisfaction we set up this air tag which i've never done before i just bought this off amazon i think it was 30 pounds and honestly i really rarely lose things but things like keys and cards they just run away i always lose them so i think this will really be the answer to some of my problems oh it made a sound okay okay this feels so high tech i love it so i've just popped some of my cards in here popped my air tag in here just need to add my keys but my nail tech has just arrived um i've been going to this place in fulham called nails london i really like them they're really great but um I was recommended this girl who comes to a house, which just saves me so much time. So I'm excited to get my nails done because honestly right now, they are so long, they're so broken. I just want them to have them short and fuss free again. Okay guys, what do you think of the nails? I am very unsure. I haven't had them this short in a while. And I just feel like it looks weird, but maybe it's because I'm used to it. But especially my thumb. Why does that look so weird? It just, I feel like that looks really ugly. 
but it's definitely more practical. I was getting so annoyed at my long nails, like getting in my hair and catching on things and breaking. So this is definitely better for now. I kind of wish I went for a white tip now. But anyway, the color is number 19 in the gel bottle. I've also just attached my keys to my new little card holder. I just love this little setup. I think it's so cute. I'm in my new pajamas. And look who's home. Making a... I'm making like, um, like, Drunken noodles, basically. Drunken? Yeah. Why are they drunk? Well, I don't know, actually. It's just what they're called. Okay. You never heard of that? No. Um, it's just like... Peanutty. Oh, nice. Soy saucy. Oh my god, amazing. Yummy. I'm surprised at you. You don't normally like stir fries. This isn't a stir fry. Oh, what is it? A drunken noodle. <laughs> but there's a big difference. A stir fry bores me. Right. Vegetables, soy sauce, and oil. okay. Yeah, I can. I can. You know? Yeah, I see. I see your point. I'm just packing up the giveaway winners' little box, getting all the goodies, putting it in here. So Billy and I have started watching Gilmore Girls. Because everyone talks about it, and we've never seen it. Who have you heard talking about it? TikTok? Oh, really? Yeah. I'm lying. I'm going to be careful with the noodles because I think it's just like chuck everything in noodles. So let me drown like you get home when you. Yeah. Hello, guys, and good morning. This week has been chaotic. I don't even know why, but I've just felt this ball of chaos inside of me. So I feel like I'm in serious need of some good meditation time calm my inner what do you call it kind of like your inner voice but today i'm just getting ready because i'm off to meet grace see chaos everything's flying everywhere but yeah i'm off to meet grace we're gonna take some outfit photos probably have like a bit of a coffee and a catch up also guys my strongly worded email worked wonders finally got through to somebody who is listening to me and understanding my frustrations he rang me yesterday and he was like i'm honestly so so sorry i'm gonna do everything i can to help like rectify the situation and and make you feel better about it and he also said he's gonna do everything he can to get me the keys as soon as possible so i'm feeling so much better with that situation he also said to me he was like do you want to like go over what's happened or do you want to just kind of go forward and i said well there's nothing that can be done with the stuff that happened you know for example the flooring and everything that's happened it's done what can we do so initially i said no let's just like work on you know finishing the flat moving in and then i was thinking about it last night and actually i think maybe i should just talk to him about what went wrong because then maybe out of like you know goodwill they might help pay towards the cost of putting the floor down for example or something like that. I don't know, maybe I'm being a bit optimistic there. But basically, I'm now having to pay on top to have the floor put down when initially they were supposed to do it for me. Um, it's a long story. If you're new to this story, I'm not gonna bore you with it. But yeah, I feel like you're all very invested in the flooring situation. So, so yeah, I'm kind of hoping it has a happy ending, really. We shall see. Okay, and I am ready. I've also just had a massive order come from Naked, so I'm gonna unbox that, see if there are any goodies in there. So first up, we have this gorgeous knit. I love the balloon sleeves. I just feel like balloon sleeves and like chunkiness add so much to cardigans and knitwear. And then the trousers I've paired it with are also Naked. These were last year. Um, similar vibe to the new look ones from my edit, but they've just got like the seam going down the front, which makes them feel a little bit smarter. And I've just paired it with my Celine belt. I also picked up this black roll neck jumper. I have so many of these. I definitely did not need another one, but honestly, I wear them so much. When I have one in the wash, I get annoyed, so I feel like I can't have enough. Um, but this one's quite cool actually, because it's like got this big split at the side. So it shows the detail of the trouser, and then it comes longer on this side. I also love the cuffed, the cuffed sleeves. I feel like that makes it cozy. And the neck as well, not too high, not too thick, just how I like it. My first big coat purchase of the year. I love how oversized this one is. It feels like very rosy Huntington Whiteley vibes. And it looks like it's kind of a shaggy soft material, but it's more of like a, 
it's like a really thick felt almost um but i just think it looks really cool it looks expensive um and then the base layer underneath are these ones from naked i cannot be about these basics i have them in a few different colors they're always like my base layers for most outfits in the winter so i stocked up on a couple new colors in these i also picked up these boots i've got a similar pair from topshop that are honestly knackered so these are very similar i love that how slim they are on the ankle and they've got like a quite a like modern look to them i've been the world's worst vlogger today grace is so happy look how happy she is <laughs> <laughs> we came into mns and she made a beeline because we've been trying to get kiwi berries for the longest time they never have them and we found them we found them i'm so excited we have to do a um Test. on camera yeah yeah for sure. so we're just gonna get some berries and then maybe yeah. some food and then we're gonna yeah. head back just been shooting i did not vlog at all i've been a terrible vlogger um here's my last outfit i love it <gasps> oh I think made the actual massive colour a mummy and it's white chocolate oh no way yeah i'm tempted to get some of these oh yeah yummy mummy okay should we get these as well okay it's time to taste the kiwi berries I don't know if you're meant to wash them or not, but I feel like they're like grapes. Yeah. You know, where you just have to wash. They have the grape the vibe. Fruit. Well, I don't know whether or not to go for a big one. Or... No, I'll go for a medium one first. Okay. Oh, they feel funny. God, this doesn't look right biting into. Mm. Oh my God. That is literally a kiwi. Mm. Oh my God, look at this. First bite, I was like, ooh. That is really nice. That is actually a kiwi in a berry. Oh my god, so do you eat the whole thing then? Yeah. Mmm. Mmm. -hmm. I feel like some are nicer than others. This one's quite mushy. Mmm. Mm. Really nice. Mmm. Because yeah. like kiwis are annoying sometimes because you like the skin. Yeah, having to... You know some people do eat the skin though. Yeah. I that doesn't want to sit right with me. No. For the fork. Oh, I've got some forks here. Oh, thank you. So Grace and I have had our lunch. Uh, got our Colin caterpillars. Grace is just doing some links and stuff like that for me. And I'm having a foot bath because my feet are killing. Um, I just uploaded a Instagram post. I'm gonna show you guys. I think it's quite a cool shot if I do say so myself. Hello. Hey. Oh, hi. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you look nice, Dee. Really? Yeah, you look really cool. I am a sweaty mess. It's really warm we today, isn't it? We were talking about that today, yeah. What the hell? Warm and humid. Mm. Yeah. I've got literally sweat patches down I to my ankles. I feel disgusting. Um, oh my god, B, have one of these. Oh my god, yeah, look. Yeah, what are they? Kiwi berries. You saw it on your... Um... It's a kiwi. But what do you mean? It's a kiwi. And you eat the skin? Yeah. Yeah. Wait, I can't Where'd you get them from? We saw them on TikTok and that's... Because really? the last time we went in there, I went up to the woman. You can't really. Yeah, Grace mm. like. Oh. Cool, mm. right? Mm. Oh my god, that's actually a kiwi. Yeah. Crazy. They're from France. <laughs> that's, how I... that's really nice. Can I remember them? We've literally been looking for them for ages because the last time we went in, I went in and I went up to this woman and I went, Excuse me, do you have any. I literally went, Keep. And she went, no. <laughs> so it was sold out. And I went, oh. I, I literally was so shocked because yeah. she was so like, no. Yeah. And, and then like, Grace oh. looked at me and I was like. Yeah. And she went, I'm really sorry, but I've just heard it a lot. Okay. And I was like. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> I was like, oh my God. Okay. It was That's so crazy. Really. But yeah, we finally found them. Mm. They're so cool, aren't they? Enjoyed so that. Mm -hmm. People are good for my blood type. Oh, brilliant. Mm -hmm. Um, look, I've got a foot bath. My feet, we really walk. I wonder how many steps we did today. A lot. Let me have a look. Yeah. I wonder if I'm going to get in the bath. I'm going to the gym, but no. Oh. Sorry, I'm not doing it. No, you don't do it. I'm, I've, I've, I'm on my period. Mm. So am I. Really? Because I'm not meant to be on it. No, neither am I. So Emma and Macy, who I sit next to at work, were talking about their period last week, and I was like, they were like, oh, we've synced. And I was like, oh, I haven't synced. And now I've got it a week early, and it's because of those two. Or oh, I've learned because of you. Yeah. No, I had the weirdest pains this morning, like weird shooting pains up my like body. Yeah, and then I, sat, oh, I had that. I sat down, all of a sudden. Period. Period. Blood. 
I'm fuming. I know. I'm having a fuming day. Oh no. I'm gonna have a bath and relax. How about um, 14,000 steps? 400. No way. Yeah. Well, Where did you go today? No, I actually wouldn't have done more because I got dropped from my driving license oh, to the station. Really? I, wow, that's yeah. good. Guys, I hate to tell you, but I do that every day. 14,000? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I probably do like 400. No, I, I say I'd probably do about 10,000 a day. That is really good. I try to anyway. To be fair, if I'm out, I do 10,000 because like, I always mm. like go, if I walk up the escalators, but um... <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. Oh, oh you idiot! <laughs> my good bowl! Your nose traumatised. Oh. Um, oh my god, Pip bit my nipple. Yeah, is it is it sore? No, but I did think it was gonna bleed. Really? Um yeah. Crazy. Crazy, Crazy girl. girl. <laughs> Oh, we have got donuts. I can smell them. Is it donut? Oh, I it is donut time. Yeah, they sent them to me. Why? Just I cause. Just because, just for fun. <laughs> Come on. Get in there. Get in there. This is so exciting. And they're <gasps> sweeties. And they are Halloween flavour. <gasps> Booze led. Bamboozled. Being boozled. Oh, being boozled. <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> yes, we have a Halloween party tomorrow. Can I wear this, please? Of course. Thank you. Oh, that's perfect. Yeah. Oh, you've got a Halloween party at work? Yeah. Oh. <gasps> oh. Wow. What is up, my little guy? <laughs> oh. A little. I don't know what that is. A ghost? ghost? Yeah. Eyeball. Zombie. Slimy. Oh my god. Oh, yeah. That's not very Halloween-y. No, but it's nice. Um, oh, which one should I go for? I'll go for one that has you have two of. <gasps> he's, get the he's really cute. He is really cute. Okay, I'll have this one, please. I'm dressing up as ballerina. So guys, I am going to a Halloween party. I don't do Halloween. I can't remember the last time I did Halloween. It's not my thing. I think my mum was always really like weird about it. Like, she never really liked it. So it's was made. Is she an anti Halloweener? Yeah, she, she's not a fan. She's like, I don't understand why you there's, go and knock. There's a lot of people like that. Yeah, she doesn't like the idea of like knocking on people's doors and like begging for sweets. I was like, well, I'm not begging. But um, yeah, so she kind of put me off the idea. But I'm going to my first Halloween thing in a long time. And this is my outfit. I'm going as Black Swan. Da! So I've got this uh, course on from Zara. Amazon, these new look boots from my edit. I haven't done them up, but you get the vibe. It's got a little crown, and I've got like some feather things I'm gonna put around my wrist. Um, and I'm gonna do like cool makeup and everything. So I'm actually really excited to dress up, um, even though it's not my normal thing. But yeah, what do you guys think? I think as far as Halloween costumes go, it's very me. Yeah. I think it's really cool. I think when really you make cool. Up, <laughs> when your makeup's done and your hair's in like a little bun. Yeah, I'm gonna put it yeah. in, a, in a bun. Like that? Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, cool. Yee. Hello guys and good evening from little Wrigley Frog and I. I was editing this video back and I realised I didn't finish it so I thought we'd have a quick chat and then I would wrap it up here. I went to this All Saints uh, fragrance event last night in Hyde Mather and it was so lovely. The food there, the like the interior, the aesthetics so gorgeous i'd really recommend it if you're in london um i think it's a michelin star as far as i i think it is yes but yeah we just went as a lovely group of us we sampled all the fragrances in fact i'll put in some clips because i did take some on my iphone um, it was launched in 2018 which happens to be the, the year that we launched kind of uh calming cypress with the um center of cedarwood again i thought it was good value 54 it's actually 100 mil. <laughs> <laughs> and the fragrance I picked up is this one here. This is the um, Sunset Riot. So I think I tried seven. I put them into my order of favourites, and this was top. And do you know what? This is basically a dupe for Baccarat Rouge. I didn't realise until I got home, and I was like, I really smell like Maison Francis, and then I realised it's this. 
Um, this is only £54 and I think Baccarat Rouge, I don't know how much it is, my know it's expensive. So yeah, if you're looking for a cheaper alternative, I could not recommend this high enough. And this really, really lingers, like it lasts. I sprayed this on myself last night, I've showered and I can still smell it. So I'll have this link down below. Also, sorry guys if I'm looking a bit like weird and a bit peaky. I've started, I suddenly started feeling a bit ill. Um, but I feel like it's going to pass, it'll be okay. Also, I'm feeling really excited this evening um, because my interior designer, who I mentioned to you guys before, she sent me the 3D renders of um, the new apartment and I honestly, it just made me feel so excited. It feels like things are coming to life, even though I haven't got the keys. But I can't say this and then not show you guys, so I'm going to show you the 3D renders. This is a massive, massive spoiler alert. They just look so real. I can't believe I'm showing you guys this. I mean, I'd much rather show you guys in the flesh, in real life, when it's happening, but it's taking so long. This is how the, the living room is currently looking. There's going to be... This is, like, without any colour or anything, so there will be colour added, and, like, not loads of colour, obviously, because it's me, but, like, it's just looking very, like, greyish right now. It's not going to be like this in real life. But, yeah, here's a massive sneak peek. I am obsessed and then here's another bit of a sneak peek this she's done like a lot of paneling and um, we've then removed that and like made it a bit more simple um i would love like fancy paneling and like cornicing and everything like that but where the apartment is quite modern it just doesn't make sense to have like traditional um features so having paneling and cornicing but it's very 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 simple but yeah i just had to show you guys because i felt so excited about it okay i'm going to show you one more thing as well this is the thing i'm most excited for i think i'm not 100 percent sure but i think i'm gonna have like a faux fireplace put in i don't know if you can see but there's like a kind of marble fireplace and the fire it's going to be like a either like a vapor or something else i can't remember what it's called there's a technical name for it and the first thing i thought of is how cozy that's going to be at christmas so so yeah like i said earlier in the vlog please let's manifest getting the keys this week let's make it happen guys and yeah i'm gonna wrap up the video here next time i vlog hopefully i can bring you some really good news and yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this vlog i love you all so 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 much and i'll see you next time bye